Okay. Hello and welcome to the HGC Gamers Club. My name is Daniel and this is a PS4, excuse me, <laughs> this is a PS5 cleaning and maintenance video for all of those who need it. This system is model CFI 1015B, the all digital model. There's no disk drive in this particular one. It is slightly different than some of the others, so make certain you have the same one. It will be similar to the overall, but uh, there will be slight differences, okay? So, with the system, USB ports and PowerPoint pointing toward me, you have the logo here and the bottom of the system here. All right, so this will be the top of the system. Turn the system up and then over. Now, oops, yep, that's right. So your USB is facing your belly button, okay? Now, front left corner, you're gonna lift up slightly and then push to your right. It will release the top. It's simple, it's easy, but you do have to lift on this corner and then slide this way. Some of these are not going to want to come off as easy as others. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side. You're going to have four screws you're going to have to remove and that's it. They are T8 security Torx. Uh, you can pick one of these up on eBay or Amazon if you like. I'll put a link in the description of the, uh, in, excuse me, in the comments and in the description of the video that will send you to where you can buy one of these. They're not all that expensive. You can also go up to any automotive store and buy one, uh, a pocket knife type set for about 10 bucks. The individual drivers through them kind of stores are very expensive. You might as well wait a little bit of time. All right. Oops. I got a little ahead of myself because I'm paying attention to the video and whether or not we're on screen. You'll have a guard here. It pops right off. Simple as easy. No screws. Nothing. You're going to have four screws. Very, very important you pay attention to where they come out. So remove the screw. Set it off to the side. Remove the next screw. Set it off to the side in orientation of what you're doing. Okay. Set it off to the side. See the different sizes? You go putting the wrong one in, you're liable to hit the motherboard and damage something seriously. Okay? There's actually three completely different size screws. All right, now, this top guard will come off. Set that off to the side. The fan will pop right out. This one is not all that dirty. Right up inside here. If you tilt your head, you'll be able to see the heat sink right in here. It goes a good ways back in there. If, there, if it's really badly caked up, you'll need to reverse the airflow, get that to come off. If you can, you can get a small vacuum cleaner and vacuum that off first, and then blast the air the opposite direction. Absolutely under no circumstance under any circumstances get this thing spinning up really really fast airing that off It may be fun, but you will Produce electricity and send it into your system and it will damage your thermal regulator in which case your system will overheat no matter what All right, so we're gonna put these back together Okay, there will be a little notch here just line that back up. That little lip will go directly over the top of the wiring coming out of there. You're going to take your screws, put them back in the exact same position they came out. Now, this is not a car. Don't torque them down. Don't make them super tight. 
when you go to put them in, slide them in, turn to the left as if you're going to take it out until you feel it click and line up the threads and then turn it and screw it in. It will go in nice and easy. If you don't do that, you'll cross thread it. Next time you pull the screw out, it will strip and then your fan will not stay in. So don't do that. So the fan's in. Now to put back this little uh, vent guard here, there's a clip on, the in, on each end. Slide that in first. Slide the other end in. Push down. It clicks right into place. Easy as pie. Take your lid. Slide it back on. Just kind of wiggle it around. It'll slide right into place. Once it does, push a little bit to the left. You'll hear a click. It is done. That's all there is to it. Now this particular system is in for an HDMI port replacement. If you guys would like to watch an actual HDMI port replacement, uh, I need $35 to pay a friend to run the camera. If that gets donated to me, the next one of these I get in for an HDMI port replacement, I will video the entire thing. Or I will pay him to video the entire thing. For now, uh, preventative maintenance recommendation on these things is every six months whether you think you need it or not. Alright, good, good luck, stay safe, happy gaming everybody.